hi there and welcome back to another video here with me on my channel i recently just went to um the physiotherapist the pelvic floor physiotherapist uh, which was recommended by my doula and my midwife <clears throat> and i can say right now that here comes the dogs um i can truly truly say that i wish i did that the first time hey buddy and um i just have to share this knowledge because i can share it to you for free and uh i think it's something every woman should know before they go into birth like incredible stuff um i might split it up and share it into a few different videos but i just want to share uh this one tip i think i think i'll start with that um so if you end up having the epidural even if you decide to or just goes that way in the hospital i did last time after being um, in labor for three days at home i was seven centimeters got transferred to the hospital and then i got the epidural and um, then i labored on my back which is the worst way to give birth uh, you're not working with gravity you're working against gravity um and anyways that's how i ended up giving birth um there wasn't even a talk about like how i wanted to birth because i'm so numb but uh there are a few options and i really want to share that here because i didn't know um nobody told me so i am just so grateful that i paid 180 dollars for this physio appointment where i got this information because uh, it is so valid um for after and for during birth so if you get the epidural, um, you have a few options. So you can labor on your back um, and you can labor on your side. So if you want to labor on your side, you get a bunch of pillows like stacked in between your legs um, to open up your pelvis. So that is an option. If that is not an option, that's the best option. If that is not an option and you have to labor on your back, um, you need to ask for a towel or a blanket to have under your lower back or just um, above your tailbone so that your bum sort of because your, your bum is sort of flat onto the bed or even if you lie up with your back your bum is just sort of pressing into the bed and then your legs are, are, are up um, and uh, what happens is that all that pressure is onto your tailbone and also it's working against gravity obviously um so it's just so much harder to birth baby like it's harder for your baby it's harder for you and what happened to me last time was that my tailbone was wrecked like i don't know what stage it was because i didn't go in for anything i didn't really know what to do um but it was she said that she's at different stages or how I, how I get bruised and broken. Um, I was definitely just like beaten up there. Um, and that is because all the pressure of baby kept coming down back onto my tailbone as I am trying to get baby out. And uh, the tailbone is supposed to be able to, so this is um, your, your back sort of, like your back and then bum here and then legs sort of go up. And then your tailbone is supposed to be able to move back to open up space for baby and so that's possible when you uh, are lying on your side much more possible because there's no pressure on there and the same thing when you're on your back if you lie on that towel then you're lying with your bum up a bit so that pressure is not onto your tailbone and you're able to move that back so that way labor will be easier and more possible um, without getting any injuries um, even stretching and, and recovery, uh, and all of those things and labor, just a million times better <laughs> if you do this. So I just had to share this because like just that advice like made it worth paying $180 for this appointment because like I could not sit all summer. I had her in March and uh my tailbone was really wrecked up until at least six months after and then it wasn't fully healed before like a year so yeah 
um, and there's different things uh, you can do to sort of relieve the pain afterwards. One of the things was, is to learn to relax your pelvis. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. I really hope this was helpful and I hope it can uh, contribute to your birth um, and then healing and recovery afterwards. And yeah, I just thought it was it's just such valuable information that I wish somebody told me before I gave birth and now somebody did. So if I ever were to get in that position again, uh, where I've had the epidural, I'm definitely going to be propped up with a towel underneath and making sure that I don't have the pressure on my tailbone or I'm going to be lying on my side birthing. So yeah, okay, I will continue um, in the next few um, videos with some more um, birthing advice that I learned today because it's just so valuable so why not share it all right thank you for watching um hit the bell if you want to be notified when I come out with more videos and um excuse all the mess in the background <laughs> I'll see you next time bye